Tabletop News with five-time Emmy Award-winning Jay Bekelek. James Hollering. Useless Information. Dan Dealey on Research. Your reporter in the field, Sam Norton. This is Tabletop Tuesday, bringing you your wargaming news. Howdy, wargamers! Welcome to Tabletop Tuesday. This is the place where you guys will come to get your weekly wargaming news. Uh, I'm Jay. I'm Sam. I'm Dan. And I'm James. Unfortunately, it's not all that much news this week, is there? Not hugely, yeah, it's well, not, not much. Not massively. Not so um, I think we will start off real quickly uh, with the Space Marine. Uh, um, if you're rich, yeah. click this button. <laughs> um, you might have noticed the posts go up or things go online. Um, GW have done another one click order, but this time it's significantly bigger than anything they've done. There's Terminators in this one. Woo! Yeah, there is Terminators in this one. Uh, you've got a lot of Terminators. Yes. Uh, it's called Astartes Ultra. And it's the entire Ultramarines chapter. So all ten companies are led by Marnius Kalgar. Why not? Um, I have to say it's pretty cool. It looks just, just really, really, really cool, but <laughs> it will take a long time to get that built. Well, it's, it worked it out that if you painted... I think it is if you painted one model every day, which is easy, you can do more than that. Yeah. If you painted one model every day, say, it would take you four years. Four yeah. years. Whoa. Well, if you think about it, if you're spending well, that kind of money, then you won't be eating at any point. So you can spend all the time that you would be eating painting. painting. Exactly. Or if you've got enough uh, money to spend on that, you can always like commission someone to do it for you. Exactly. I'll do it. <laughs> 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 I'll do it. Yeah, really. Yeah, I'll keep pretty sweet. But <laughs> what's it? Uh, One thousand two hundred models, I think it is. Ooh. If you painted two, I, I reckon. I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. If you painted two models a day, and again, you can do like more than that. You could do a squad of space marines a day, yeah. Um, but and then you're looking at a year, two years, and then you've got the most ridiculous force. You've actually how, got often, how often are you ever going to use that force? Yeah. I use it every day. Force <laughs> the entire the entire yeah. chapter. Yep, so just play it, play this. Uh, I mean, it'll I'm, take you like three days to set it up. Do you know how much it is in points? A lot, a lot. <laughs> a thousand <laughs> sort of a thousand space know. marines. Each space marine now is what twenty four. I don't know because you've got about get on to TT combat and email us uh, how much points it is. Yeah, someone, yeah, okay, someone yeah. out there work it out yeah. for us. Um, yeah, I bet it's going to be something ridiculous, like fifty thousand points. Or something Probably more than I own. What do you reckon? Yeah. How many points do you have? Zero. You did. <laughs> and I used to have a fair amount, but I've moved on to bigger things. See, I would be. Totally up for clicking that one click order if it said uh, Astartes Imperial Fist. That would be it for me. No. I'd no, do it. Us. No. <laughs> <laughs> if it said Menoth, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Menoth? Yeah. Well, what does the chapter of Menoth look like? Uh, it looks like uh, a church. <laughs> a church. A church. A church. A church. So like lots and lots of fire. Yeah. 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 Um, just quickly while we're on the subject of Space Marines, uh, we've recently, TT Combat has recently done uh, a quick painting tutorial on how to get um, one of your Ultramarine tanks, it doesn't have to be Ultramarines actually, it's using any of the colour primers from Army Painter, uh, whatever chapter you use, you just change the spray, follow this tutorial and you'll have something similar to this. Um, I'll put a little, uh, a little snippet of that video now, so... Okay, guys, uh, that, that's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's nothing special. You're not going to win any awards with it. 
but it's going to get your eye painted quickly. So if you were going to spend £7,000, or I think it's something like thirteen, fourteen thousand £14,000 if you're Australian. Yeah, it's, it's something good. ridiculous. Like, if, just because you... Well, um, it's just... But yeah, anyway, like, you yeah, can get that done quickly. Um, mm -hmm. We're also doing uh, this one here. You will see a tutorial on how to do this bad boy. I love that tank. Uh, it, it would look cool in Black Templars. Red or green? Red or green? Red or green? Red or green? Blood Angels or Sinanders? I was about to say, just no chapter, just red or green. <laughs> just just red no chapter. Red or green? Red or green. Or <laughs> I like green. Just, just red <laughs> and green. Paint it like Christmas. <laughs> okay, just, spray, just spray it red and then dunk it in like a bunch. Yeah, so um, yeah, we've got a new uh, series of tu tutorials going up called Get It Painted, uh, so keep an eye out for those. Um, so yeah, anyway, you wanted to talk about the Ruralic uh, Colossal? Colossal? Yeah, so um, Privateer Press have been talking about releasing a Ruralic Colossal for a long time, and some of you guys probably would have caught up on the rumours that are going around about that. Um, I'll pop you... a picture just over his face, actually. So <laughs> yeah. He's now the Ruralic Colossal. Sweet. That's an improvement. That's an improvement, right? Uh, what did you guys think of the look of it? I love it. I actually, I actually like it. Yeah, I quite like it actually. No, I there's really something like about it. it I like, and then there's something about it I don't like. But I can't quite figure out what it is. Right. I think it just looks. Too I think it fat. looks. No, no. See, it's dwarven. You have to remember it's dwarven. It's yeah. armored enough. It hasn't got a beard. That's what I'm disappointed. Uh, <laughs> we get the robot that. beards. No, but it's it's armored enough, but yeah. it doesn't have big enough cannons on it because it's dwarven like yeah yeah it should have loads of cannons yeah. and a pickaxe it does it does fire torpedoes which is pretty cool and as far as i know that the rules on the torpedoes are something like power 16 with an aoe 4 blast which is pretty strong i pretend uh, to know what that means yeah that is, that's, that's, quite quite that. that's pretty, pretty, that wow. pretty strong thanks guys everybody except dan <laughs> that is yeah um and if AOE you consider so how many can it fire in a turret as well um it, he can fire two aoe 4s um, and he also has, uh, I think it's an auto fire D3 PAL 12 or 14, which if you consider taking that with uh, Dougal McNally, and those AOE templates can do a lot of damage. So but do you not feel, like, because I mean, you're big into your war machine and horse, but do you yeah. not feel, because I personally think that Gargantians and Colossals, yeah. there's slight variation, but they are all essentially the same stat line. Don't you think that's a little bit annoying? Sure. That... Well, no. <laughs> no see, because, because I would, for me, yeah. like the Mountain King, yeah, okay, he's got big rocks on his back and whatever, but he's yeah. flesh, okay? He's yeah. got no armor on, but he's got like similar armor or same armor as something like the Ruler Colossal, which is a big hunk of metal. Yeah, well, I think the Ruler Colossal is like armor 20. I think generally as a whole, the Colossals are just a touch more higher armor than the, uh, yeah. uh, than the Gargantuans. Um, but the Gargantuans have the potential to heal. So their yeah. they're like loss of armor is kind of balanced out by that. I'm so. just going by like the, the more like the fluff of it. So if you got this ridiculous robot with the fist the size of a house, yeah, you think it would hit a little bit harder than, than a mountain king? No, I can mean not the mountain king, <laughs> yeah. but like the Rulix. What's the Rulix? How is it? PNS. I don't know. I think the, the PNS was something between twenty or twenty-two. I think uh, the Kador one is twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big old boy. He he's I bigger than me. Yeah. <laughs> I do like him. Um, he's way bigger than this White House. He is bigger than this White House, yeah. Bigger than White House. We had a little conversation before the cameras <laughs> went on about, in terms of scale and fluff wise, how big a Land Raider would be. And I think I overestimated slightly. I said it was like 40 foot tall. It could potentially be bigger than this White House. But you have to remember how big, one, how big a Space Marine is, which it carries 10 of. It, it's pretty big, yeah, um, well. and Terminators are bigger than Space Marines, and they fit. And the Land Marines, what twice size? It's not going to be forty foot tall, but it's going to be a good twenty five. It's still pretty big for a tank. Yeah. That was what I was getting at. It was big. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, rules wise, um, I'm not sure if the dwarf players will be too excited about it. Um, but like I said, with the potential of putting Dougal in a list, then it can it can do some work. Um, it's we not speed, speed 3, it's speed 4, which is really That's good, because good. Good. Uh, a lot of people were worried about uh, having a speed 3 ruler colossal, which would have made me laugh. But. No, but I think it would have been okay to be speed 3 if it had more armour and yeah. more guns. More armour, more guns. That would make more sense, again, for the fluff, because it's a big, hulking... Yeah, it's got six legs, though. Yeah. So six, legs. six legs doesn't mean it's If I had six legs, I'd be way faster. You reckon? Yeah, a lot. Just fun. looking at it, just looking at it, it kind of reminds me. I was saying to you guys earlier, it reminds me a bit of the Kraken mixed with the conver the convergence um, colossal, the Pro Maxine. Yeah, just the bottom half of that, and then the top half of the Kraken minus all I the tentacle bits. 
completely off topic with the primary scene, I thought they should have switched the missile pod and the head around. Really? Cool low feels that way. Yeah, so the head right at the top and then the missile pod lower down. Yeah, that's 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 you you could possibly that. do that. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be too difficult but to change that. that. That would look cooler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if, uh, I said I would get a uh, prime axiom, and I still might if I uh, maybe. Yeah, and then I won't. <laughs> do, you, do, do, do you carry on your convergence force? Or? Uh, I, I'll, I will carry on my convergence force when it comes to um, the new year, I think, when they start to release things like the corollary. And when it's all out and ready to create an army like yeah. there and then, so you haven't got to buy yeah. it as it's released. Yeah, yeah for sure. Because, um, I mean, I like Aurora and her 107 angels, but it's a little bit one dimensional at the moment. Yeah, I suppose it could get pretty boring yeah. to play. Mm-hmm. But someone else might have a different opinion there. Some people might really like her at the moment, but it's not my thing. Maybe you would, you get just one more choice. Um, the other thing I want to talk about real quick is because I've I've just started playing this game and it needs some recognition. This game yeah. here is it's the balls. Yeah. Okay, like I've just started playing it um, and it's really really simple, but it's not too simple. It's not like it's a game of chess or um, chess and that's it. That's it. Yes, it's, not, <laughs> it's not simple. It's bad. Not or checks and ch- snakes and that. It's not snakes and that. It's simple, but um, it's really 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 good fun. Um, and uh, on the topic of this, they've actually got a new expansion uh, coming out called, oh, what's it called? It's called the Elite something or other. And basically, you've got uh, two tie interceptors in this pack. Um, one's red. One's red. Yeah. That's so cool, a red tie yeah. interceptor. Why not? So it's kind of like a... It's a royal guard. Paint red and green. <laughs> it's, the, it's the royal guard. Yeah, red and green. Um, Paint red and green. Now, one of the things um, I've noticed from playing this game, um, it makes sense, but a tie fire doesn't have as much firepower as an X-Wing, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. But they're twice as agile. Yeah. Um, and they have no shields. So, I mean, in a gunfight, the X-Wing is kind of always going to win unless you've got, you know, you, you, your strategic mind on and you're sure. doing all that. But the Interceptor that's releasing this uh, expansion pack has got the same firepower as an X-Wing. Um, so it's got as many guns. Yeah. Uh, but it's as agile as a normal TIE fighter, if not more, actually. It's got a special ability that makes it a bit more agile. And um, it still doesn't have any shields, but he, he doesn't need it. <laughs> Yeah. You're not playing them right if you're ever going to be in, in the X Wings like far enough. So um, I want to be doing some ch- uh, tutorials um, and just battle reports in this game fairly soon. Just keep an eye out for these because mm. like it's just an awesome game. Teach me, I'll learn. I'll teach you. Yeah, but you don't get to be Empire. No, oh. you can have the Millennium Falcon there. Yes, you can have the Force of Shore with this one. You don't get the Slave One. Then. Slave I get the Slave One. one. No, yes, yeah. I do. Slave One is there. I get to kill Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, that's going to make me very happy. Damn it. So everyone loves everyone, everyone loves the fat. Everyone loves the fat. The what? The fat. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. The fat. Oh, if you said the fat. No, the fat. It's the Boba Fett. <laughs> okay, James. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Still not done. I just, I just want to throw it out there. What, what's your opinion, guys, on when playing this game? Because if we were going to play a little bit of X-Wing, uh, having a bit of the Emperor's March in the background, what, what are your opinions on that? Uh, that'll get me good up for it. Unless I'm not playing for the Imperium, and then I'll be a little bit. What music could you play with your rebels? The rebel Girl music? Um, I, I reckon the music it's for the rebel thing, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, but no one cares about that. I reckon Jewel Fates would sound quite good, good, actually. Jewel Fates. My point is, like, what are they, basically, what is your opinion on background music during the game? Um, it depends what it is. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Um, I don't think I could listen to, like, Miley Cyrus while playing War Machine. Well, Wrecking Ball. I, I don't My think I've ever listened to Miley Cyrus. <laughs> 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 the fact that you actually know that song. Everyone knows that song. If you don't, then... No, I don't. You're going to check it out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you hanging out to dry on the internet there. Sorry. <laughs> After today, you know what that film, uh, the film is, that yeah. song is, and your land leader is going to come in like a wrecking ball. <sighs> I yeah. have actually, I've, I've seen the video. I worry about you. I've seen yeah. the video to it as well. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to put a clip of it on this because it's it's just filthy. It can't, yeah, can't yeah, yeah, the yeah. show, unfortunately. Well, anyway, uh, this is taken to another extreme. Uh, another war game no one wants to play against. Uh, the guy with the atmospheric music. Dude, this game's rocking out to be good, yeah? yeah? Should be. Right, so my yellow tank thingy is uh, going to go this way. We here. Mm-hmm. Pow! In his face. Yeah. Anyway, you'll get. Okay. So my dreadnought's going to advance. It's going to advance to there. <laughs> Your dreadnought ain't going to take on my Tyrion thingy. We'll see about that. The drop pods will stay where they are. It's getting pretty intense. Do you know what I think we need? What do we need? We need some atmospheric music. 
Right. Okay, yeah, so I mean, like, that's taking it to another extreme, right? Yeah. yeah. Did I annoy you in that game? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had a good time. You annoyed yeah, me too, actually. actually. <laughs> so, I mean, like, oh, yeah, that's another extreme. I mean, like, is there any music that you guys would listen? Like, I think you know, the, atmospheric the, music can en en enhance the game. There so. are some things which can, like, d but again, it depends on. I reckon. Kind of well, it's easy when, <laughs> it's easy no, when you're playing like Lord of the Rings, you would just use Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Oh, no, Lord of, the, Lord of the Rings is generally quite good. Just the Sound fantasy track. battles. And, what about Hans Zimmer? Hans Zimmer's good. Hans Zimmer's really good. No idea what Hans Zimmer is. Hans Zimmer is the guy who wrote the music for Gladiator. Pirates of Oh, yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. No, he's done a lot. They're essentially the same track. The, the Pirates of the Caribbean and Gladiator, they're essentially the same track. Also, the movie The Rock, if you've seen that as well. No. He, he did the soundtrack for there's, that. There's a, there's a good series of stuff. Okay. Well, we're agreed that... Two Steps from Hell. Yeah. They just don't know. Yeah. Man, I'd be well, great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you, you're great. Yeah. Essentially, music can, but like, just keep it down a little bit so you guys yeah. know, what the, you know what's going on in the game. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we want to find out what's going on uh, in the local German League, so we're going to go to our reporter in the field. I'm not there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, you're going to be, so you need to predict how it's going to go. Yeah, I no. predict. <laughs> um, we're well, currently on week uh, four, so that means that we're at 25 points and we can put in a new caster. Yes. Yeah. Which, which is cool and interesting. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I've gone from uh, P. Krios and the metal starter kit, and I'm going into E. Fiora now because she's really good with Jax. And it's a what did you start with? Everything. I started with Convergence, played a week of Convergence, <laughs> realised that every, my plan of what I wanted to buy involved the Arc Nodes, which aren't out yet, and the Corollary, which isn't out yet, so I thought that rather than... That, for, that does suck, kind of, for yeah. the German League, if you want to but, go I mean, that's, that's my fault for starting the kind of faction a little bit too prematurely, but they're starting to get some really cool stuff out soon, like... Uh, they're good fun to paint. I love painting, yeah. I love painting your stuff, yeah. it's good. But they're... Uh, they're heavy infantry, I'm really looking forward to. Oh, they're heavy infantry, infantry looks awesome. Oh, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's, uh, pictures of that, they did look quite cool. The whole interlocking shields and the weapons are changing into other weapons is just... Um, it's just not that like you guys would know, but um, the stats are really good. So. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to win a game tonight. So. Yeah, well, just don't play music. Just, just, just hope. <laughs> can live at home. Well, yeah, change my caster to Zerk too, so... Yeah, could be cool. Yeah. It doesn't matter, maybe I would change the player. Ooh. Ooh. He went there. <laughs> Sour. I would take it back, but I'm not going to. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> he genuinely looks terrible. Well, at least, I'm, at least you know, I, I'm still going with it. I'm not like a <coughs> drop out. Um, yeah. Yeah, you did drop out, didn't you? <laughs> well, you were like, you dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a couple of people who have decided that the German League is a little bit more expensive than they can do, but um, it's, it's, it's well. not. It's not just that. It's no, I, I got I got distracted by. Nice new shiny space marines and um, yeah. space marines. For <sighs> me, so, I got distracted by a nice new shiny Spartan. So Spartan games, yeah, Spartan yeah. stuff. <laughs> so okay. anyway, guys, uh, unfortunately, that is kind of your news for the week. We have got some big news next week. Uh, keep an eye out for that one. That's re revolving around us. Uh, we've got a really cool new thing that we're going to be sharing with you guys. Um, following that. I think it's going to be the Spartan games yeah, on Spartan. again. Um, so yeah, keep keep, uh, keep an eye on this space. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and check out our website at www.ttcombat.com. You'll see it written here, where you'll find lots more wargaming fun, articles. This guy's actually started writing, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah I have, actually. So that's why the quality's <laughs> dipped a little bit. But it's got a lot. It's, got a lot <laughs> it's only while I'm busy on this other project. Once I get back on it, then you'll have a good quality articles back. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.